Welcome to the Enjoy Life Podcast. This podcast is about choosing your mindset, goals, and actions so that you can guide your life to go in the direction that you want it to go. I believe that we all make choices in our lives, and those choices are what's going to shape our lives. And you have the power to choose to take steps to make your life more how you want it to be. Now, it is a little bit uh, of work, but the work's worth it because it's your life and you get to reap the benefits of it. In this podcast, I'm going to share with you uh, actionable information, you know, things that I've learned just through my own uh, experience, life, a little bit of formal education, and some experience working with people to make changes in their lives. Everything I do share with you are, uh, there are things that I try to do in my own life because it wouldn't be right for me to share with you things for you to do that I'm not willing to do myself, or at least try to do. If you're willing to take steps so that your life can be more how you want it to be and, and, and enjoy it too, then you're in the right place. I'm glad that you're here, and let's get started. Well, hello there. I'm Nick Mazing, and welcome to this week's episode. Uh, you know, last week was, was Thanksgiving. Uh, celebrate that in the United States. Uh, if uh, if you listened to last week's episode, it was just all about you know being thankful and, and choosing to focus on some of the things that you know we might overlook. You know, just with all the things that we do have in life. And if you missed that, go back and listen to it. Or just definitely take a moment and appreciate the good things. Because there are some good things in life. You know, there's there's the negative stuff and and with the media and all the other, you know, it's it's just easy to to shift our minds to the negative. Don't, you know, take take a conscious effort and and be thankful. I just don't think I could go into today's episode without, you know, just reminding uh, you of that. Uh, And it also reminds myself, too, to do that, too. And one more quick note. Uh, if you want a, a little bit of help with uh, setting those goals for your for your life in this upcoming year, th- those goals that are going to pull you forward, that are, that are meaningful and relevant to where you're at and where you want to go, so that you can you know, make some make make some choices that uh, are going to lead your life to be more what you want it to be. If you want to take that step, uh, I'm actually putting together a little bit of material uh, right now. So putting the finishing touches on it, it's not it's it's not ready to be released yet. Uh, but you can go to nickmazy.com slash goals course, and that uh, will, will allow you to to let me know uh, that that you want updates, and, and so that you can get some information when it does come out. All right, now right in line with that uh, goal setting information, and this new year coming up here soon uh, is today's topic, today's episode, what we're talking about today. Uh, if if you got the if you, you know, if you listen to this podcast on your little podcast player, you saw, probably saw the title. You know, small steps count, and 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 they do. You know, large leaps, large leaps can be sexy. You know, when we talk, when you see people that have uh, achieved some some great thing, you know, it is some great big thing. You know, and and sometimes it's easy to think that it was just an overnight success, or you know, they just came up out of nowhere and were able to achieve the things that they wanted and and, and hit these huge goals and have massive, massive success. That's it's that's, that's what we see. You know, sometimes we, we see that result that that achievement after all these small steps are taken, after all the hard work and all the the just due diligence. And long time of effort, all that's happened, and then we see this this massive success. There's a little uh, saying, you know, it was you know an overnight success, uh, ten years in the making. Well, that ten years in the making is a lot of times what we don't see. We just see those large leaps, you know, and, and they're big. They 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 have a lot of attention, and like I said, they're they're sexy, you know. You know, the, the problem sometimes is when we strive for that, when we strive to just have those large leaps, because that's what we see from other people. We don't see that hard work and, the, and that long time of, of diligence and effort that we put into it. You know, we see those large leaps, so we want to do that. We want to have those massive, quick gains in our own lives. Well, when we strive for those, uh, there's, there's some problems because, you know, those large leaps, you might be able to make one. You might be able to put a whole bunch of effort. And you're just striving to, to achieve something really big, really fast. Uh, but it's hard to maintain. It's hard to maintain, you know, trying to pursue that huge jump. And also those huge jumps, you know, when you're trying to make that really massive leap, you know, sometimes it's even hard to start that. So, you know, they're hard to maintain. They're hard to start. And, well, honestly, they're scary. You know, 
and I'm not saying that if someone's scary, you should back off of it. But you know, really, if you want to achieve something, if you want to make some change in your life, you make some adjustment, you know, achieve that goal. It's already going to be scary, and trying to do it all at once, you know, with this massive jump, you know, that just makes it even more difficult. Those large leaps. Another problem with those large leaps is that they don't allow for adjustments. You know, when, when we're moving forward, when we're changing our lives, when we're choosing our mindset, goals, and actions, when we're doing all these great things to guide our lives where you want it to go, when you're doing that, you know, you, you want to allow for adjustment because you don't have a crystal ball. I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell the future. Once I make one change and, and one improvement, then the next one might be a little different than originally what I thought. And the, when you make those large steps and you just jump forward really fast, you sometimes can't make those small little adjustments that lead to something better, which is why sometimes when, when you push too fast and, 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 and try to do it too quickly, you might not end up exactly where you want. Now, I'm definitely not saying don't put forth the effort, don't strive to go forward and, and push hard. Well, what I am saying is that think about the small steps. Think about the, the the next little small step and just keep doing that. There's a great saying. I love it. I love quotes, but you know, and this one, you know, is, is definitely ranks up there. Uh, it doesn't matter how slowly you go as long as you don't give up. See, th this is a marathon. This is this is life. Uh, you know, it, it's gonna. Well, you know, the, the thought is that it's gonna continue. It's gonna keep moving forward. You don't have to do it all now, but as long as you're taking steps forward, as long as you get, you're developing uh, that little bit of momentum and you just keep at it and you just don't give up, then you're going to keep making progress. You don't have to achieve all your goals today. Just achieve that, that small step today and then tomorrow you do that next small step and, and you'll keep going in the direction you want to go. So here are, I'm, I'm going to go on for a few minutes on why small steps can be better. This is what I want you to think. I want you to think small steps can be better. You know, don't discredit those small steps. That, that they have power, because the, you can't do it all at once. You you, you can't. But the small steps, the small steps can be easier, and they can you can maintain those small steps. And and once you start going forward, once you take that little small step, whatever that next small step is toward the goal that you want, you know, and if it's a, you say it's a health goal. You, know, you have a health. And so that first small step might just be drinking a little bit more water. You know, having, having a little bit of water uh, before you start eating. It might Your next small step might be doing a little bit of stretching in the morning. You know, it's not this huge grand thing where you're going to start going to the gym every single day for two hours. It's a small step to start to, you know, help your body a little bit so you feel a little bit better. And this amazing thing about small steps is you develop a little bit of momentum. And you get that momentum, and then it's easier to maintain those small steps because you're developing a little bit of momentum, because they're a little bit easier. And when the small steps are small, you might actually enjoy them a little bit more. You know, I use that example about drinking more, drinking a little bit of water. What's funny is when you start to drink more water, it, water tastes better. It, it, it's a weird thing that the more water I drink, the more I enjoy drinking water. And when I get out of the habit of that, uh, I, I lose the taste for it. So, you know, start with your small steps. Take some small steps toward the direction that you want to go. And one key thing for keeping the small steps, you know, helpful and, and good and positive and, and enjoyable is to remind yourself of the progress. That you remind yourself of, of where you're going, why that small step is important. Maybe remind yourself of the big reason why uh, you're taking that small step. If it is something for your health, then remind yourself of, of why you want to improve your health. And, and that that small step is helping you to go in that direction because you do have to keep you know, being persistent, you know, and honestly having some patience when you're taking these small steps. You just got to keep taking them. And so the most important thing for progress, in my opinion, in my opinion, some of the most important things for progress is just to start. You know, whatever that step is, just take it. Uh, and when it's small, you don't really have to worry too much about, you know, well, you've committed all this time and effort and energy to it. But you can just take that small step. Just take that small step today. And don't quit. That's all it is. Just take one step. Don't quit. Repeat. And along taking those small steps, you can keep improving. You can keep improving your plan. You can keep improving yourself. And that keeps you going in the direction that you want to go and continuing to pick up pace because you're getting better too. 
and you can always ask for help. What's a really neat thing about taking steps toward what you want in your life is that when you're doing that, when you're making those improvements and you're at, and you need to ask somebody or you know for help or get some advice and guidance, people want to help people that are striving to go forward. You know, when you're putting forth the effort, then, then people are more likely to help or at least want to. And that's and that's what I'm saying. Take some small steps. Go in the direction that you want to go. Just don't give up. All right. I know those large leaps can be sexy sometimes, but those small steps, those small steps are powerful. Don't discredit them. You know, if you're if you're wanting to take some some small steps toward uh, the life that you want, you know, achieve some of your goals, guide your life to go how you want it to go, and really zero in on the, the goals that might be important to you and for what you want in your life, then this material that I'm putting together right now might be a fit for you. You can go to nickmazie.com slash goals course. And uh, like I said, I'm trying to get this uh, out here soon. Uh, but that way, you can just let me know that you want to be up to date on the information that's coming out. It's nickmazy.com slash goals course. Well, thank you for listening to the Enjoy Life podcast. I'm really glad you're here. Take some small steps towards the life that you want. All right. Talk to you again next week.